Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Today is in my shop 2003 Toyota 4Runner Limited 4-wheel drive. And look how the looks are deceiving. Will you not say this is beautiful truck? It has only 133,000 miles. Seems to be running good. And if you take uh, pictures of it from a distance, right, a couple of feet, it looks perfect. I never saw Forerunner rusted so badly like this one in my life. This is because it came from the New York state, from the East Coast, and after being there for most of its life, it landed here in California. So let me show you the crazy rust on this truck. Once again, if you look from outside, that first brief look, everything looks perfect. I don't see any signs of it. Of course, I was warned about the frame, which we will go to later. But look in the engine bay. I was just checking the throttle body, but normally it takes me just a few minutes, but not in this case. This clamp, if I didn't hold it with the pliers, didn't apply this penetrating catalyst, I will be not even able to undo it. So that already took like five minutes just to loosen the clamp and be able to look at the throttle body. So look at this stuff. There are details which are started, started seeing which resulted in making this video. I honestly didn't see so badly rusted truck yet. Some of you who are mechanics or who live in that east coast you might say ha 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 be so way worse but yeah I believe you for me this is a special let me for example show you this here we have the vacuum lines for the EVAP but look at the detail of these clamps these clamps some of them basically are gone it's a rusted ring oh yeah this one this one rusted so badly that basically fell off, <laughs> completely gave up. So how you inspect a vehicle like this? Do you write redo all the vacuum clamps or this is crazy, right? This is really not okay. Anywhere you look, there will be some brutal rust. I brought the light here for you to show you the details. So this is a brake line. Can you trust brake line which is so severely rusted? On these inspections I always check at least one spark plug. In this case we have a number one, correct? 1357. Well, look at it. It's a 10 millimeter bolt which is holding down the coil. That's all rusted away. Isn't this absolute pain? Hopefully grabbing it with this vice grip multiple times trying. Hopefully that will loosen that bolt. I got it out after like 10 minutes fighting with it. But imagine doing replacement of 8 spark plugs under these conditions. Wow. Surprisingly the spark plug number 1 which came out is Iridium. Then so SK20R11 and it's actually in pretty good shape. Before under it's finally up in the air, it's time to inspect underneath it and I'm assuming that what we saw so far was nothing in comparison what we will see right now. I didn't look yet, I'm just putting the arms of the lift under, I was already thinking I hope this truck will not break in two pieces when it will go up because the frame and sure enough 
look at this wow yeah the rust is incredibly aggressive on this vehicle if you look at this that was already welded by someone it was apparently worse on this side and they already put some welds here but at that time they didn't take care of this side I'm kind of questioning if I can even go underneath it honestly how you service differential when the plugs are looking like that do you think this is even openable I kind of doubt that to be honest with you how do I take care of this vehicle for the owner when the rust is so brutal? I don't know. It really is becoming questionable here. But let's keep looking. I hope you can see all of that. All that rust, everything it's rusted. This is that gas tank cover, which was obvious from outside. It's absolutely nuts. And here I'm using actually that was already fixed by someone you see these welds that additional metal which was put on the frame so it doesn't break do you see it here I hope so this is all additional metal somebody nicely welded in the past not recently obviously because that's rusted too a lot but look at this carnage the rust really is destroying this vehicle or was in the past but i'm afraid it keeps continuing that chemical reaction keeps continuing underneath it look at all these details i mean how often do you see something like that unless as i said i'm just naive because i'm from california or working in california and you guys in the look this is this popped off completely of here right the rust and it was rubbing on that drive shaft or propeller shaft look at this area when this breaks well there's not much remaining and i'm afraid if you want to work on it that will completely go look at that look at that part wow this is really scary this is scary i'm sorry to say that this is absolutely unbelievable that is a new exhaust that's what i was wondering how come it's not rusted well look this is actually a new part that was gone a long time ago so i wanted to really quickly share this with you is this vehicle even serviceable look at all those details you know these plugs are normally very tight look at this this is absolutely unbelievable to me as I said, I never saw that. It's the first time in my life seeing something with so much damage. Uh, please share your comments, right? Is this a car I should keep working on for the owner or it's actually absolutely gone? Well, I gotta keep going with that inspection, but please, if you are familiar with vehicles in this shape, share your comments share your experience with others underneath this video i hope you find this interesting and make sure you are subscribed by way more coming your way soon thanks for watching have a great day my friend